Football Insiders East West Shrine Game Day 2 Practice Recap. Of course, I'm Charlie Bernstein. This is Bo Marchand. Bo, what'd you see today? Well, you know, at uh, San Diego State defensive end uh, Travis Rossetti, I thought he was the kid both days, but today he really came on strong. And uh, you love the hustle in this kid. This kid is hustle 110%. And when you come down to a game like this, especially San Diego State, it's not yeah. one of the biggest schools in the world. You know, it's not an FBF. You see, you know, uh, college. And so a guy like that, he really has to show what he has. And he kind of reminds me of a guy, Mike Capitino from Princeton. He came down here the same thing. He just blew the scouts away with that hustle every single play. And I think Travis Rossetti is doing that for himself this week. And, you know, a lot of guys, it is a job interview. It's absolutely a job interview for these guys. And the way they handle it, as professionally as possible, that's what they need to do, right? Yeah, and, and the funny thing, Charlie, is as big as the week this is for so many players, these scouts have to run and chase these kids down. And it, you would think it would be the vice versa thing where these kids are chasing the scouts down, yeah. saying, hey, I want to play for you, pick me, you know, get to know me. But vice versa, these scouts are kind of scrambling, chasing guys down, getting interviews, getting numbers, getting contacts finding out more about these kids, but it is, it's a job interview. Um, we talked about Devin Gardner yesterday. Yes. He's probably not a bigger, you know, for him, a bigger platform going from quarterback to receiver. You know, it's a really a big opportunity for him to show that he could make the switch. Yeah, I thought Devin Gardner had a really rough day today. Yeah. Um, inconsistent hands. But you know what, you kind of expect that from a quarterback of Vernon Wagner Yeah, I mean, it's a new craft. I mean, he, I think he, he played, he started four games yeah. in Michigan. At, at receiver, but 27 of the you know other ones were at quarterback. So I mean, he's an athletic kid, but it's going to be a rough road. And like you said, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs with him. You love his size, you know, 6'4", 6'5", 216, and his athletic ability. That's what draws you in. But the craft, the techniques, the nuances of the position are what's going to kind of draw him back in terms of being drafted as high, if drafted at all. Guy I like today, John Crockett, the uh, running back, oh, four-time national champion. And he was a big guy. I asked him today, who do you remind, who do you pattern your game after? He says a guy like Arian Foster, a guy like Matt Forte, and you could see a little bit of the lead, the catch on the ball out of the backfield. You could see a little bit of that in his game. Yeah, and you, 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 I, everything you just touched base on, I agree with. I mean, he looked great today, and I love his every single play, this guy's barking out something. Good job, good job. Number, and I actually took a note on him after one particular play when Zachary Zenner the kid uh, from North, North Dakota State, I believe, he, he broke a play, and John Crockett was in the background yelling, FCS boys, we can play with the big boys. So he was making it known that, that chip on their shoulder. Yeah, they have a chip on their shoulder down here. Even these small school kids are down here, and they want to make an impact, not only for the scouts, but the big school guys that they're playing against. Because in that particular play, Zachary Zenner outran uh, Stanford safety, Jordan Richards. Uh, Keith Mumphrey, Michigan State wide receiver, seems to catch everything in his area. Very smooth coming in and out of his routes. Yeah, and you mentioned him, and, and, and Charlie nailed this one earlier because he mentioned him, and I actually talked to two scouts earlier, and they both really were pleased with the way he played. So he definitely caught the good apple about him, and he's obviously one of the guys, like you said, who had a good vibe, you know, after two days of practice. Of course, that was our practice recap of day two at the East West Shrine here in St. Petersburg. We'll catch you later with some more great content here on Football Insiders.